It's the Kings in their white and blue. It's the Stampeders in their black and white. We're underway here. And the opening face-off all brought to you by the Professional Hearing Care Center in Dauphin. As that one is sent in by the Kings. Picked up by the Stampeders behind their own net. It's Sudam with the puck up the wall. Kept in by Buller. Now taken away. Here come the Stamps. Three on three the other way. Right side through center. Gothels into the zone to Harris. Harris tries to take a shot. Can't get it through. The Kings have it in their own zone. 19:37 left here. First pair to play. It's Hobbs putting on the Jets. Near side turns it over. Brought in by Gothels. Right half wall. Big shot. They score. I'm telling you, these Stampeders, absolutely incredible. What a shot there from Bradley Gothels. An absolute taser. You literally can't start a hockey game better than the Swan Valley Stampeders have this season, or this series, rather. Last game, they started off with a goal just 107 in. The game before that on Sunday, they scored less than 39 seconds in, 38 seconds in. Today, it takes them just 32 seconds on an absolute, absolute howitzer from Bradley Gothels goes blocker side on Brian Landsberger. And just like that, it's one nothing for the Stampeders. 19-20 left here, first period of play. 13-58 left here, first period of play. Still 58 seconds left on the Fusion Credit Union power play here for the Kings. As Miller in his own zone for Dauphin. Plays that left side through center to Shamray. Shamray into the zone for Dauphin. Miller going hard towards the net. A chance. They score! Hey man, Miller! A beauty of a goal there. Gets the pass from Riley Shamray. As they come in on the power play. Shamray right on the tape. Miller goes bar down. Glove side on pipes. It's 1-1 here with 13.44 left in the first period of play. One for one on the power play are the Kings. It's almost a carbon copy. In fact, it is a carbon copy of game number one when the Kings scored on their first power play of the series. They score on their first power play of tonight. We're tied up with 13.44 left here in the first period of play. Now up to the right point to Shamray. Shamray skating across over to Hobbs. Left top of the circle. Top of the slot there to Cotting. They score! Two for two on the power play. This time it's Cole DeConnick. He's got a big smile on his face as he sort of flubbed that one towards the net. The hockey gods were with him. And that went one past Merrick Pipes. It's 2-1 for Dauphin here with 1-12 left in the first period of play on their 11th shot of the game. For a team that came into this contest 4 for 22 on the power play, Dauphin is now 6 for 24 getting towards that 19% mark. The Stampeders 0 for 2 on the penalty kill. And like I mentioned before the game, penalty kills, power plays continue to be the difference in this series. It's been the difference tonight with two Kings power play goals. One minute left here in the first period of play. 2-1 is the score. For the first time since game number one, the Kings have a lead after a period. It's 2-1 after game one of the first period. It was 2-1 to one tonight. Two power play goals has fueled the Kings to a 2-1 lead here. The shots after the first period are 12-12. to 12. Brought to you by Steiner Plumbing and Heating. This is exactly what you expected. A team, the Swan Valley Stampeders, obviously trying to win this series. End off in season. The Kings trying to stay alive tonight and prolong this series back to the Valley for game number five on Sunday. Wide open in front. Osadic back in there. Landsberger, what a save. Another chance. No, it's not in. It went to the goal line, but no goal. Brian Landsberger, incredible. The save of the season so far. It remains 2-1 to one here as we play with 18.43 left in the second period of play. The Kings back in transition. It's Heaney through center, right side to Smith. Smith into the zone. Top of the circle, the shot. They score! One way, Brian Landsberger makes the pad save. Avery Smith comes the other way, and he goes low glove side on Merrick Pipes. It's 3-1 to one for Dauphin tonight. 16 minutes left here in the second period of play. What an effort from the forwards defenseman and, of course, goaltender here tonight for the Kings so far with a 3-1 lead with 16 minutes left exactly in the second period of play on their 18th shot of the contest. It's 3-1 to one Dauphin. The Stamps get it back right side up to center to trip. Now trip into the zone for the Stamps. Straight away at the slot. He's going to avoid that pressure. Straight away at the point. The shot. They score. 
Josh Tripp took a shot from the point straight away and it was tipped in. It's 3-3. We knew the Stampeders could score quickly. Coming into this game, they scored nine goals in less than 13 minutes of this series. That is a lot of goals in a short amount of time. And now it's 3-3 with 11.48 left in the second period of play. Here go the Kings on a two-on-two. Left side, it's brought in by Hobbs. Top of the slot, drops it off. One-timer, they score! Coming back, transition the Kings. They get some numbers. Dropping it off was Grady Hobbs to Riley Buller. He took a shot to the outside pad of Pipes. Pipes made the pad save. It was a juicy rebound. Now, Coden Gray Eyes, your first MGHL playoff goal. What a big one. The Kings go up 4-3 with 7.32 left here in the second period of play. Back and forth action. Let's keep her going here in Dauphin. What a beautiful game. Now Arnold, he's got Lewiski at the point, gets it to him. Lewiski, the shot there, can't get that one through. Kept alive by the King, straight away at the point again. It's Lewiski to Miller, one-timer, comes out, Sawchuk. What a save by Pipes. It's still 4-4. Now Sawchuk again, they score! Carter Sawchuk. What a beautiful shot there from the Brandonite. He goes top. Jetter and down. It's 5-4 Dolphin on another power play goal. Incredible. Coming into this game, Dolphin not very good on the power play. 4 for 22, 18%. Tonight, three power play goals. Their biggest power play goal of the season as they take a 5-4 lead with 15-12 left here in the third. It's 5-4 for Dolphin. Osadic trip going towards the net up to the left point to Gothels. Gothels, big shot, big rebound in front. What a save by Landsberger. Absolutely massive there to keep it 5 4. Clutch goaltending. Now the puck down behind the net. Shamray falls down. Harris gets that one out front. Up to the point to Gothels. Kings can't get it out. 12 36 left here in the third. 34 seconds left on the power play. Left half wall trip back up to the point to Gothels. Another big shot. Not through, Kings pick it up and down the ice it goes. With 12.24 left here in the third period of play, 5-4 to four is the score in favor of Dauphin. 12.17 left here in the third, 16 seconds left on the minor to Ian Tukeny. Right side through center into the zone now for the Stamps. It's Uriga towards the net, the shot there ends up going wide. Uriga still has it. Up to the right point to Hurst. Three seconds left on the power play. Now right half wall. Uriga loses the puck. Kept in. Hurst to the goal. Fired wide. What a chance by Kaysen. Cruz the gaping cage. But he can't put it in it. Now Uriga shot. That's off a stick. They score. 5-5 five to five with 11.49 left here in the third. Kaysen Cruz missed on the first opportunity. He gets another one and he puts it in the net. My goodness, what a game tonight. Absolutely barn burner. Trip some room. Now left point, the shot from the left point. Landsberger makes the save. Media timeout will do the same. Don't you go anywhere. It's 5-5, 9.37 left. Off in Kings playoff hockey. We'll return after this to 7.30 CKDM. You're listening to Dauphin Kings Hockey on 7.30 CKBM. Welcome back with 9.37 left here in the third. It's 5-5 between the Kings and the Stamps. Up to center, Avery Smith. There they go on a two-on-one. Tried to get it in front to Smelski. Couldn't. Now Smelski in the corner to Smith. Smith in front. One-timer. What a save by Pipes. Point blank on Jackson Eadie. Now Paluk the shot. Rebound in front. What a save by Merrick Pipes. Incredible. The only reason this game is at 6-5 right now is because of Merrick Pipes. Huge save there. First of all, point blank on Jackson Heaney. And then he made a save on Braden Paul Luke as well. Awesome save by Merrick Pipes. Sure, he's given up five goals tonight, but he has made some absolute dandy saves and included that one, a big one. With 9.16 left here in the third, 5-5 is the score. 
Puck is still in Dauphin territory in the right corner. Hobbs pinned up against the wall. DeConnick gets it free over to Paul Luke. Now Paul Luke up the wall to Gray Eyes. Gray Eyes spins that up the not out though. Right down behind Landsberger. Five minutes left. Getting here in the third. In front there. They score! A turnover behind the net. The Stampeders pick it up. And they put it in the back of the net. And they take a lead here. With 5.02 left in the third period of play. All righty, Landsberger is gone. It's a six on five. It's Grady Hobbs, Riley Shamray, Carter Sawchuk, Cole DeConnick, Eamon Miller, and Riley Buller. Six of the strongest forwards on the ice here for Dauphin. Sawchuk's got a goal. Miller's got a goal. Shamray, Hobbs, Buller have been great as well as DeConnick. Biggest face-off of the season. It's won by the Stamps in their own zone. Osadic tries to get it out, and he's going to flip that down the ice, chase it down. Is he going to beat out the icing? He will. Swan Valley scores with 123 left here in the third. The post-game show brought to you by Western Bakery is coming up after the break. You're listening to Dolphin Kings Hockey, where the season comes to an end here tonight. We'll wrap it all up after. You're listening to Dolphin Kings Hockey right here on 730 CKDM. And hopefully you enjoyed the season. It was a great season for the Kings. 14 wins last year to 29 this year. A playoff appearance against the Stampeders and one barn burner of a match tonight in a 7-5 loss to wrap up the season so thank you so much to tristan thank you for tuning in we're gonna see you next september i'm darnell duff saying have an absolutely fantastic evening enjoy the rest of the postseason we'll talk to you in september